Good morning and welcome to our monthly webcast. I'm Samir Mehta, your moderator. This is session number 66. A uh, happy holidays to all our viewers and uh, hopefully you'll have a joyous uh, season. Uh, we have an interesting uh, CTO this morning, uh, which uh, let me take you straight to the cardiovascular laboratory so that you can watch the entire case. Uh, good morning, uh, Samin. Uh, Yes, good morning and happy, uh, happy holidays to you and to your team and uh, I know it's been a wonderful, uh, uh, a very hard working year for your entire staff in the cardiac cath lab. Yes, absolutely. I mean clearly that uh, and um, work wise as well as from educational point of view with our webcast has been a tremendous success and uh, outreach uh, uh, the, with the global teaching that concept which we started uh, five plus years ago is still very, very fruitful. Uh, and I welcome all our viewers and uh, encourage them, ask the questions, post the questions and so. Uh, and we uh, clearly we're going to re redesign uh, part of our uh, complex coordinate live cases, particularly giving the index uh, so that people need to go directly to that particular case, whether it's a bifurcation, CTO or calcific lesion. Uh, with that note, uh, we are ready to start uh, our, um, the, the case of this morning with a little brief description. Uh, with uh, these are our supporters uh, and uh, disclosures unchanged. Now this is a 66 year old, 70 year old uh, patient. This is a case number 66. Uh, patient has mild angina a few months ago. Uh, has a, you know history of diabetes and uh, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, um, and uh, just mild symptoms that led to a stress with uh, MPI, which shows a large mm -hmm. wall ischemia with cavity dilatation. So that led to a cardiac cath, which we are going to discuss show very calcific mid to distal LED total occlusion, significant diagonal disease second and uh, near normal LV function with, uh, and uh, other vessels are kind of non-obstructive. Because of the calcific nature and occlusion complex CAD, patient was referred for bypass surgery and came for to me for consultation and we discussed various options uh, and uh, patient preferred PCI and uh, for which patient is here now and uh, Anu will show the angiogram of this uh, particular case. Show the angiogram now. So normal LV function, some mild uh, apical hypokinesis. This is the right coronary artery which is a co-dominant system. If you see some moderate diffuse disease of the moderate size uh, RCA, you have a one septal, you can see some filling of the LAD but essentially this is what you see. Left main is okay, moderate at 50% uh, disease of that uh, large highlateral. Uh, CERC again is a non-obstructive disease but this is where the LAD disease is a proximal lot of calcium maybe 30 to 50 percent disease but uh, it is mid to distal where you see the total occlusion of the LAD and you see a septal to septal second septal to a third septal collateral that is filling the distal LAD and there is the diagonal which is just at the level of the septal again becomes a bifurcation has become has significant uh, disease large size uh, vessel and you do see some collateral from that diagonal to the apical LED. Anu, just looking at the angiogram, uh, two clear uh, procedural challenges, uh, the CTO of the LED as well as the sharp takeoff of the diagonal? Yeah, the, um, and, and so, so the same, you know, the calcium where you have angiographical is non-obstructive in the proximal LED, it's just when we start uh, instrumenting, we will see if we are going to have any problems uh, at that level but um, the film that was sent to us from the outside hospital looked like there is a lot of calcium at the level of the CTO but yeah. we do not see the um, you see a few specs it is not like a tramp track uh, calcium at the level of the CTO. Look, so uh, you, that might, is you might surprise yourself uh, this may be uh, a straightforward wire job or we could be here for a long time but we will see. Yeah looks like a uh, straightforward here. But uh, <coughs> look at the diagonal. Diagonal also very is very calcified. Very yeah. challenging. Challenging yes. osteal disease, there is additional disease in that diagonal. It is a very large diagonal and if we follow actually the diagonal goes down further yeah, and gives the retrograde collateral to the apical LED. Samin, uh, before you start your presentation, I think uh, being the end of the year, it is only fair to ask you this question. Uh, what uh, do you consider the most academic event of the year in uh, coronary interventions? Um, 
specifically means sir uh, which uh, any any development you 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 see you watched is it uh, bvs is it uh, the dual anti platelet therapy you are going to be talking about it's uh, it's been an interesting year but yeah. uh, maybe we'll let uh, let you continue well, thinking about it and carry the conversation well forward. Yeah, i would say the year end if you put together what has been the most hottest controversial an advanced topic will be the depth study yes absolutely yeah. and uh, my continued uh, congratulations and compliments to your cath uh, lab staff i think they have done an outstanding job this year beautiful now with that note let's go back here this patient has a syntax score of 18 and uh, plan today is this calcific mid to distal led uh, we will use some kind of atherectomy technique whether rotational or orbital and uh, try to use a newer everlimus eluting Zion's alpine stent. Now, alpine is the new generation. Of course, it's an appropriate case. And this uh, actually, the you know, Zion's expedition just came uh, on addition to uh, uh, the the earlier uh, Zion's tra the stent designs. And the expedition had a very short life, in my opinion, replaced by alpine. And alpine, basically, particularly, it's a stent which is approved for CTO. The what is the difference in alpine versus earlier Zion's expedition is the distal tip. It's a um, better trackable, and the hypotube is more pushable. So basically, delivery in the calcific total occlusions uh, is the addition of the Zion Alpine. Now, what basically is what we have come now, and uh, as I said, you mentioned the year end that where we are, and actually that puts in this slide the evolution of PCI. We start with the POVA in 1977, then we brought a bare metal stent uh, in 87, 88, then DES in 2003. to decrease the restenosis but now in last few years we are working with the newer generation des one most important is to reduce the dap dependability because we learned that first generation des having higher event rate after discontinuation of dap at a follow up and really because never endothelized so lifelong therapy was and now with the newer des design idea is to reduce the dap dep dependency and that is one the stent design itself thinner polymer thinner uh, stent struts but more importantly now the biodegradable polymer and the bioabsorbable stents the both are will be the future uh, for us in 2014 uh, um, or 15 coming now what i'll talk about is the two uh, points quickly knowing that it's a very tough case i uh, will try to finish this in uh, 10 minutes knowing the slides are always available uh, one is the dap duration and secondly of the biodegradable polymer des now the dap dur duration these are the various trials which i have put together here which in last 4 3 4 years from 6 uh, months or 3 months to 12 months or 24 months and of course th even 36 months and these are the various studies the four of them are new uh, compared to the old ones and uh, the we have the earlier dap duration study showed that shorter dap has equivalent mace Longer dapt had higher bleeding, and there was no so difference in stent thrombosis long. between two groups. Huh? Define what is short and long. No, short basically is considered as in the trial. In the trial, maybe a three months or a six months or some way compare from twelve to twenty-four months. The shorter duration is your smaller one. Could be anywhere from three to twelve months. But key is that that's the shorter duration. The longer duration, what we learn now is the longer duration cause more bleeding uh, without having any ischemic benefit. Now four trials. Security, eyes are safe. Security was presented in TCT and A AHA. Last one, three of them came to the main uh, light. Eyes are safe, italics, and the DAP. Uh, clearly, I and this security trial from it, at least six months versus twelve months, showing identical outcome uh, of six months versus twelve months in terms of the mace bleeding as well as stent thrombosis. Then the eyes are safe, uh, which is a uh, trial supposed to be six thousand patient. but was prematurely terminated at 4000 because of poor enrollment and showed the similar these were the low risk patient that overall the mace rate was 6 6 versus 12 1.5 versus 1.3 and these are the individual component <coughs> again no difference in 6 months versus 12 months and uh, interestingly another study italics which is approved now uh, actually accepted uh, in jack uh, answering this question 6 versus 24 months Uh, and all patients had everlimus eluting stent, uh, and uh, they actually eliminated the patient with the aspirin resistance. So patients after aspirin resistance were uh, those who were uh, PRU of 550 uh, were randomized 
into a 6 month versus 24 months and again you see the on uh, here identical um, mace rate, stent thrombosis and so. So, it seems to be that the shorter duration is reasonable compared to the longer DAP duration. Now, we get this major trial of the 10,000 patients of the DAP by FDA approved by Laura Mori and this is in my opinion is the most uh, uh, well thought, but the results may be some questionable, but very well planned. Plan basically was we knew that we need to give it for one year. So, after one year patients were then randomized to continue uh, the aspirin only or add theonopyridine in which 65 percent receive uh, uh, the clopidogrel, 35 percent receive the prasagrel. And more importantly that a study continued for 18 additional months, so total 30 months. Then after 30 months it was allowed that you can stop now the theonopyridine. So, then they followed additional 3 months. Idea was that once you stop the drug, what should be your minimum duration? Is there a rebound? So, clearly gives us the data of the 30 months and followed by 33 months. And uh, this is a basically trial design. Uh, as I said, 10,000 patients about uh, and the, the of uh, 90, uh, uh, you know, the bare metal was 1687 and 10,000 were the, you know, DES patient which were very carefully followed for 30 and then 33 months. Now, this is the very assistant design and particularly as you can see Everlumus made 47 percent. So, many of these were the first generation stent of the serolumus and Paclitaxel. They have the separate study, uh, separate results of the Paclitaxel. They, are, uh, they needed uh, dual antiplatelet therapy because uh, without it they had a very high stent thrombosis. Uh, and what were the data? And these are the data here. 12 months depth versus 30 months, 12 in the red, 30 months in, uh, 30 months, uh, uh, in uh, yellow. As you can see here uh, that uh, in actually sorry it is the color should be other way around that uh, the 30 month uh, is the first one uh, should be in uh, in the red and uh, the 12 month DAP2 should be in the yellow that clearly the 30 month was associated with lower stent thrombosis, lower Mackey and I am sorry for this uh, uh, but, uh, this uh, bar graph because we just going to I uh, will change the colors, but was associated with. Uh, the lower Mackey and stent thrombosis, but yes, I was associated with a higher bleeding. So, clearly the, we just had to change the color that uh, the red is the 30 month DAPT versus 12 months. So, clearly very, very interesting observation which was not supported by earlier trials. Earlier trials showed that 6 months was as good as 12 months or 24 months, but here we see a totally different. Now, because there were all high risk patients, acute coronary syndrome, multiple stents, so and so forth. And what we learned is that two things, one the myocardial infarction you can see here that clearly there is a divergence, uh, of course there was a 1 percent stent thrombosis, but there is myocardial infarction almost 2 percent difference, half was accounted by the stent thrombosis, but more, in, but other half was caused by non-stented uh, area. So, non-stent MI was another half 1 percent, so 1 percent half caused by stent, other half or 55 percent not caused by the stent. So, basically it worked like as a secondary prevention like in the Karishma, like in the credo trial of acute coronary syndrome when compared aspirin versus aspirin plus clopidogrel in the credo trial showed benefit on long term of giving the dual antiplatelet therapy. Now, one really surprise was this all cause mortality which is 2 percent in the 30 month uh, group versus uh, 1.5 percent uh, in the 12 month group and this is real surprise although it could be that you say well maybe likely it is the bleeding uh, because uh, the we know that uh, longer antiplatelet therapy will cause more bleeding, but it seems to be that there is no difference in the cardiovascular mortality and it is the non cardiovascular although many of them was trauma was, uh, was and some cancer was definitely higher in the 30 month group versus, uh, versus 12 month group, but this really remains enigma that uh, the mortality, but some I would say that even the trauma you ble bled to death after trauma may still be related to uh, the DAP duration and of course, consistent benefit all groups although diabetic was not any separate and this is basically the trade off. Trade off we show the benefit, but this is uh, actually the uh, what happens uh, particularly from the bleeding point of view that uh, longer DAP is associated with higher bleeding particularly moderate to severe gusto and although the fatal bleeding was not different. Now, then a question came in the bare metal stent. Bare metal stent also <coughs> the similar message uh, came 
uh, you, there, there is a lower stent thrombosis rate, lower Mackey rate and so on and so forth, but clearly significantly higher bleeding as you can see here uh, in the bare metal stent. So, you could make it a point although not significant here that maybe bare metal stent because you have higher bleeding, maybe long duration is may not be required uh, and this actually puts uh, things together. Now, another important point which I wanted to emphasize is when you stop the drug after two and a half years of the DAP, what happens? You see here that from 30 to 33 months, there is an increase in the stent thrombosis as well as the in the uh, Mackey. Mackey basically was death, MI and stroke that there is a rebound or you can say that no longer any protection. So, it seems to be that even 30 months which was arbitrarily chosen in these patients could be even longer. So, uh, that is a very important point. So, how do I put all together? all this post DAPT study data, I would say that there seems to be a benefit of prolonged DAPT 2.5 years plus in high risk PCI patients such as post MI, post cabbage, recurrent acute ACS, re stenosis, lesions with high stent thrombosis risk like severe LV dysfunction, bifurcation, multiple stents and, and hence can be routinely recommended with careful consideration of bleeding risk. So, you could give a prolonged DAPT or maybe lifelong DAPT in these cases as long as you have out, you can look into their bleeding risk. Second, majority of, the, majority of the current generation DES, especially ever lumous eluting stent patients can safely discontinue DAPT after 6 to 12 months. I would say it's more 6 than 12 just because of the guideline, European guideline has already made 6 months. I am keeping 12 months because FDA has not come up with the new guidelines of 6 months yet in the United States. Now, second quickly is the biodegradable polymer. We know that the purpose of the polymer is to release the drug. Once the drug is done, usually 3 months, 4 months, polymer is a nuisance. It causes the safety hazard and really cause inflammation and uh, various uh, may be responsible for late stent thrombosis and that has led to uh, many data to show the durable polymer are associated with uh, many of the bad outcomes of the DES in the future, uh, more, cause more uh, platelet aggregation and of course, uh, uh, you know, and adhesions and so on and so forth. So, if, if the, some data are there that bioabsorbable versus durable polymer that you do have some benefit of very late stent thrombosis and there is no difference in the uh, acute outcomes of the Mackey and it is all dependent on various stents and how the drug is released. The one which common which is now uh, has undergone testing in the United States is the Synergy uh, and which is uh, uh, the part of the evolved 2 stent which is the synergy stent of Boston Scientific uh, which compared against Promus element, lower stent struts 81 microgram uh, micron versus 74 and the, the ultra thin abluminal uh, surface uh, polymer 4 micron versus 8, usual 8, idea is that it disappears in about 3 to 4 months after the drug is gone and this led to the evolved 2 trial with the um, uh, Promus element plus versus synergy in about uh, 1800 patients and saw that the clearly the synergy stent has a better deliverability 98 versus 96.9 and more importantly the target lesion failure was identical with the individual endpoint of the death TLR and MI were identical in two groups. Now, there is some signal although overall stent thrombosis was no different 0.6 versus 0.4 seems to be that newer generation stents do not have a late stent thrombosis that none of them had after 30 days. Then there is a second century 2 um, the trial also of the another polymer by the Ultimaster from Japan uh, comparing with the Zions in 1000 plus cases. Again no difference uh, stent thrombosis and so and the lastly is the bioflow uh, with the Orsorio stent uh, which is um, uh, the biodegradable polymer and has been compared against the Zions uh, and uh, led to the bioscience the randomized trial of 2000 plus cases and showed again identical outcome of the TLR, uh, TVR, MI and death in this group of patients along with the stent thrombosis. So, basically the issue of uh, the bioabsorbable polymer and so it remains that they are associated with similar outcome and may be associated with a lower event rate, a low late stent thrombosis so that uh, may have some advantage in a selected group of patients and clearly that if you do not need a polymer that did not be there. So, uh, the science is going towards uh, with the newer DES design uh, using the bio 
uh, the biodegradable, uh, bioabsorbable polymers. I mean, a remarkable job in uh, in about 15 minutes of uh, coverage of such a complex topic. I'm sure there is going to be a lot of questions, and I have some follow-up discussion questions too. Uh, anu, how is the progress with your uh, CTO? We just uh, which wire you're yeah. using. I'm just uh, starting here. We have uh, the fielder fine cross. Uh, it's a regular we, fielder, yeah. Is it diagonal or red? I mean the are diagonal. We already across the. No, 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 no. no. We are in the, the diagonal. Diagonal. Yeah. diagonal. Yeah. Uh, bringing the fine to... cross now. Give a little light. See. Samin, so, is fine cross your uh, preferred uh, uh, support yeah. catheter? Support yeah. catheter is fine. That's cross, by yeah. Terumo, no? Yes, by Terumo, and uh, now they have the newer. Uh, a new anticoagulant strategy here. Is uh, still uh, uh, Angiomax. Okay. Not super cross. Now, there are every company trying to make it. Boston Scientific is coming. Uh, they're also coming with the, the newer uh, over the wire system, uh, similar to. They uh, have a balloon at the tip, 1.2 balloon, yeah. Radi it's like a. Huh? Yeah, name is uh, a threader, over the wire threader. Uh, basically, idea is that there is a balloon, very small balloon at the tip. You can take a picture here, just to see. Probably into some septal there, but uh, looking, uh, some uh, looking some good. Die. Looking yeah. good. Okay. You're going to a bigger septal. You want to put the lights down a little bit? Good. Now, if it keeps going to the side branch, I think this is the time you have to change your wire. You don't have to go with this polymer coated wire, which keeps slipping to the side branch. So, you decide what's the wire you want to do. Now, take next, which uh, I already have Miracle 6. Let me see if we can focus it. What about the fielder XT in this okay. situation? Uh, you, not you a bad choice. Just slight, no. slight but I am not a fan course. of fielder XT. Some die there now. I know you didn't uh, uh, think there was any need to do a bilateral cannulation in this case? No, it's septal to septal collateral. We saw from the RCA, we didn't see a right. much uh, collateral. Six French base system? We have a seven French just okay. because uh, if you have to do the diagonal two, yeah, at the level stands, of the LED, if you have to do… Two stents. Two stents, yeah. Excellent. Take this out. Samin, I want to pick up the issue a very thoughtful yet a provocative statement you made uh, in the DAPT uh, study. If one was to consider a secondary prevention role as there, it right? appears to be suggested. Ah, confianza, right? No? Yes. Then ah? that should be having no, this is a miracle. equal benefit for DES and BMS, no? Right. Well, I mean the point is, I think the, what happened is that in the, uh, the BMS group, they probably would have a low risk, uh, uh, you know, patients and so uh, there is very unclear because overall event rate, you know, Mackie in the BMS group was lower than DES. And how that could be? It can only be Sometimes. that there were a, definitely a lower risk patients. On the basis of uh, uh, Laura Mori's uh, uh, fantastic trial, I mean, this yeah. is this truly is a landmark. Uh, what do you think? This is a, a further hypothesis generating or is it adequate for us to even consider changing guidelines? Well, I can tell you the one is that FDA made the statement when the trial was presented. Everybody felt that maybe FDA will say that now you need to give it longer. But they clearly said that we need to look into this issue of the mortality. Because, the, you know, that's a really bothersome. That you, one thing is that you have some stent thrombosis and some uh, small MIs. And secondly, you have mortality. So, uh, and that is a major issue which we need to, uh, you know, understand a little more. But, but, uh, but the very important issue here is still remain in my opinion that our practice was that if patient keeps coming back, has a very complex lesion, complex disease, we were giving the longer antiplatelet therapy anyway. So, therefore, it did not change. Uh, and uh, the overall thought process, what was in these cases? Anu, beautiful job with the wire in the meantime. I think you appear to be in the right track. I want you to describe the motion which you have been, it's, would you call it a drilling, uh, what you have been doing? Yeah. yeah. We have to inject. But we need to inject. I think it may be parallel yeah, versus it may be, maybe. Yeah, it's, Let's uh, take a picture. It's subintimal, yeah. It yeah. is so, subintimal, okay. Yeah. You need to pull back a little more. Mm. You want to get a Zion, uh, sorry, um, the Confianza Pro? Yeah. 
So now the other question which comes is that instead of the thinoperidines, the other, uh, what if uh, let's say beyond the 12 months you had either prasugril or uh, ticagrelor? Well, I mean, I say 35 percent patients had a prasugril in this study, uh, and the the ticagrelor the ongoing study for a long term uh, uh, at present, and that will answer this question in uh, the same patient for as a secondary prevention, like Karishma coming back. Um, the type of uh, patient with the remote history of a stent, MI or CAD and continuation, whether it's going to show benefit at a long term uh, in uh, by using ticagrelor. But here, we did not have the 35 percent of these patients have Prasagrel on board. It's, uh, it's good to see a trial with such large numbers, but yes. uh, some people may argue that uh, that's a feeling uh, we've always had that uh, Patients with complex lesions uh, need to be having a longer duration of DAPT in any case. I absolutely could not agree more. I mean, absolutely. So, right now we took the miracle out. I am going with the confianza. So, that is you are already on to your level 3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, remember I always said uh, that at this day and age, your biggest predictor of unsuccess of the CTO is the calcific lesion. Right. Because even your retrograde would not help because of the calcium. Some One of the most, uh, I think, the negative part here is that. And also in this case, the length also, no? Yeah, uh, definitely. The the side branch originating the bridge collateral, but length is still. I think we are able to um, counteract, but it's the calcium uh, is the one uh, major issue. And that's where actually many times the progress wire works. So, would you uh, would you feel that uh, as the the in the coming uh, twelve to eight? Yeah, now there is, that is clearly subintimal somewhere there. Mm -hmm. uh, probably next year uh, that there is going to be a gradual switch uh, to synergy and alpine from promos and expedition. Well, I mean, the, yeah, I think the synergy uh, has a very good uh, in the future and largely because one, it's a very trackable stent compared to our uh, existing stents at present and, uh, and uh, overall there was no, no negative in any aspect uh, with the study. Though, although they are trying to promote that maybe it's the better Sunday. lower in terms of stent thrombosis, but I don't buy that. Because we saw it, there is no difference in stent thrombosis mm, at all. Look, looks to yeah. be perfect there. Yes. On to low mm -hmm. Anu, what did you do different there now? Uh, I just pulled back. Uh -huh. I mean, we were, we knew that we were uh, sub-intimal. You just had to pull back and try to get into the intima. Right. So, but uh, you oh, with just the manipulation no, because… No, there's a lot of calcium there. It right. was there all the time. Yeah. There's the diastasis anyway there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah just… Uh, you want to go to caudal view? To you view can. Further down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one second. We are going to go to portal because now it will going to tell us a little more. Once you sir. get to the apical movement of the LED, right. the RAO caudal is the better view. Yeah. Good. But very yeah. nice and free movement of the distal tip. Not sure. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. there it goes. Yeah. Uh, It's the same thing that usually I'm a, a one view guy, most of the PCI, but in the CTO you need to be. If you don't have dual injection only, yeah. I mean if you have dual injection, like in this case, and that's the thing when you do not have dual injection, since your anti grade depends, I had to pull the fine cross back because that was preventing the anti grade flow from the septal as well as the diagonal. That's advanced. Though. We were subintimal and then got into the. So, I mean, how many bare metal stents did you use in 2014? We have actually about 5.6 percent at Mount Sinai. So, Maybe. 94 plus percent uh, have been at DES. And you won't know as clearly the the newer versus the. I'm I'm sure almost 90 percent are the newest uh, generation me, or any any of the. No, you want all to get us new. US. Okay. Actually, Grand in our lab. Grand Slam. Uh, give us the extent length Grand Slam. In our lab, basically, we have two um, uh, Promus, Workhorse, uh, prom, Promus, and uh, Zions uh, group. We do have um, uh, used some 
some cases with the with the resolute integrity but uh, the bare metal is all integrity at mount sinai again a review of 2014 uh, what's the percentage of transradial cases you've done we actually had to see it because now we got uh, our um, one of the my um, attending uh, colleague um, nitin barman yes. who is a uh, wants to do a lot of radial so they in last two months he joined on november and there is a big resurgence of the radial in mount sarai cat lab i would oh. say before november if you take all probably we were 11 12 percent now since his arrival in november if you take november december uh, that number could be about uh, 20 plus well the true fascinating part i i think uh, the trans radial conversation is uh, as attractive as it may seem may be passe how many are any trans ulnar cases been done zero yeah so that that's but we are doing a lot of anti cubital right heart cath so they want you decide um, the radial that you do a anti cubital right heart with a five french swan so no preparation of the groin the number of impella cases uh, increased this year uh, yeah it's we uh, no definitely increased from last year but it's still uh, you know on an average i would say about 6 7 uh, per month we actually have one case for today. Later. Excellent. Take a picture. Why you wanted this view? You don't see much. Yeah, I, and that was a good view to see the apical behavior, but no, it does not look good. I know it has clearly gone subintimal somewhere very apically. Would you consider putting in a balloon at some stage, uh, dilating the mid segment to see? Uh, no, now it is now even I am not so sure. Mm. I think yes. it is. Yeah, you have to recross. You recross at that level. At 3 o'clock. Now we need to take this one out. Where is our earlier confianza? We have, yeah. This is a very good view. So, I mean, I've been visiting your cath lab now for the last about uh, seven or eight years, and uh, sometimes I look back and I am quite uh, amazed at the change which has occurred. That uh, here was a coronary cath lab uh, several years ago, and now you are an endovascular training institution. Right, uh, and um, uh, now the structure, all right. uh, <laughs> keep changing. You know, clearly that uh, that goes with the. Uh, Let me the huh? fielder. Fielder XT or regular fielder? Regular fielder. No, but you are there in the lumen until this to mm -hmm. Give it to me. So it looks like we're just going to go yeah. back with the fielder. Right. Yeah. Because you are a little unsure where where that was tracking uh, yeah. the more stiffer wise. So I had to take it out. Yeah. All right. Here may be the. Uh, you need a confianza. I will, I will. I'll try to see if I can get in some dye. And there it looks a little. No, I, I'll, let's go to the caudal view. That's the only way you'll know. Mm. Okay. Okay, now you want yeah. to take a cine? Cine, yep. Maybe we are in A small epical. Okay, let's bring the fine cross a little further and uh, at this level here yeah, we need to move. I think this level may be repuncture with the mm. confianza. Unless there's another C2 in the apex. Mm -hmm. 
So, I mean what has been the change uh, at Mount Sinai with the imaging modalities overall uh, much greater use of OCT? Um, OCT Actually, we know we are, I mean our uh, yellow trial has completed uh, 80 patient enrollment, uh -huh. but we have to do 80 paired patients, um, which means we are doing um, when there are uh, uh, 2 to 3 vessel disease patients where we do the culprit vessel, the non-culprit we do the near infrared spectroscopy as well as OCT. If your LCBI is more than 150, then we enroll them in the trial where uh, this time they will get Crestor for 10 weeks. And then we also get their blood to check the efflux, HDL functionality and efflux. Overall, and when they come back, yeah. That's over, it. Overall use of OCT would be how much? Right now it's just a research purpose, yeah. All right. We so, are very little, yeah. yeah. So here is some uh, revelation for you. They have uh, 26 cath labs in India which are actively using OCTs. I know. <laughs> I mean, until they have made it to the guidelines. Uh, yeah, no, no, you cannot use for clinical yeah. purpose. No, yeah. no, they are because of the bioabsorb, you know, there is exactly a big right. push right. because of the absorbed stent that you cannot deploy the absorbed stent good if you do not have a OCT. That has been the notion in uh, India at present. <laughs> it is not that you can do OCT in uh, every vessel. Right. The pictures definitely look very good. Yeah. <laughs> You have to go uh, with the confianza. Yeah. Right why, why you took it out? Yeah, confianza. There. You are in the wrong. You need to there. puncture again. That's the confianza in this view. We know exactly at nine o'clock we need to go a little outside. So here is a question I'm coming co coming for you. Would uh, I was help in uh, any way? Yeah, actually, you know what? There is a very interesting uh, that um, the I was CTO was just to say when they randomize the patients uh, with the IVAS, that is after you cross with the wire. Right. But yes, those who are very good at understanding the IVAS uh, in the CTO may help you to determine uh, that you put a parallel wire and you bring the IVAS catheter, uh, help you to puncture. But I Some think it, unless you are good at it, the probably it is going to create an additional uh, confusion, confusion, confusion mark uh, right. uh, and so. So that yes, some people b do believe, but IVAS for really crossing the CTO was at one point felt to be a very exciting um, venture, but kind of has f fallen off the waste side. So the challenge being the interpretation of the data which you are acquiring. Yeah, exactly. All right. Because uh, same is that you need to bring another wire and that is where you need to leave the IVAS because there is no forward looking IVAS. It has to be side by side. So, I mean, what was your uh, the most uh, beneficial uh, symposium which you attended in 2014? Um. CCC Live <laughs> of Mount Sinai. I, I have absolutely no doubt on yeah. that. I, I continue to believe not that because we are participating in it. Uh, the, the educational value of this is tremendous as as can be testified by the hordes of people which uh, which come and uh, compliment at uh, many meetings. Uh, that the, the impact of this is really quite stunning and. Uh, I mean the 12. Yeah, I go very little um, to uh, you know the assignment which I have been given. No, which is what I meant that yeah. from the meetings where even you were speaking, yeah. uh, what comes to your mind? The, uh, but no, I, I think overall from interventional uh, point of view, it has to be the TCT meeting. Right. I mean, TCT gives the wide array uh, of um, the patient, uh, the, uh, then of course, a lot of didactic discussion and um, the global exposure uh, and the techniques point of view. So, I would put a TCT on the top uh, from that point of view, yes. Fantastic. So, looks like your meeting next year will be off site. Yes, first time. And after 19 years, we'll go out of uh, Mount Sinai. But that's because of some construction, construction yes. here. Yes, you're trying All to right. make a construction, uh, and that area of the um, Annenberg lobby will be um, uh, closed. Uh, so that we expect that we come back in 2016 with the state back. of the art facility. Yes. <laughs> Although it will not change our stern auditorium, but it's the surrounding of the stern auditorium is going to change.
buy that. We are just still outside. I am pulling back and see if I can re enter at a higher level. Now, give a little back. This may be a little better. Mm. Viral free? Yeah. Good. So let's take a picture with a long cine. Yep. Oh, you think this is a good view? Yeah, this is a good view. No. I told you, no. Exactly. No. You know what? We have to pull the guy, I think, back. Not no, you do not see. <coughs> You want to go to epicranial, same view? No. You want to go to same? Okay. You should be able to see that. Now, 10, um, RAO 30, cranial 31. So, do you think uh, just at this uh, case of the, this, this uh, point of the case, uh, there could be a true divergence of opinion, uh, people who would continue to be conservative uh, doing the strategy which uh, Anu is doing and uh, versus the aggressive sub intimal uh, tracking or yeah tracking but we are already on the sub intimal uh, 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 yeah no the uh, clearly the stingray device and cross right. uh, help in this that they will create a sub intimal space and then bring the stingray needle and puncture uh, distally to the true lumen so here you looks like you are in the uh, or you re-entered yeah no, but I don't think we have gone back to the main lumen yet. Because remember, these higher, these uh, stiffer wires will create a channel, and they'll keep going subintimal da downstream. I think you need to pull back a little more with the wire. You sure that we are not there? The thing is, since we created a channel and we went, now we may not be able to see it. I think you need to come back. Some die. Also. Would there be any benefit of uh, putting a parallel wire here? Well, that is, I would say, I was just going to say that, that rather than I was, I probably would go more with the parallel wire, um, knowing that this has been created Get by. Which one, which wire you want? I was trying to say 200. No, yeah, progress, progress 200. 200. Question uh, there, you could go with the. Uh, you have to create a channel right from the beginning. Mm. And remember these cases, uh, once you went sub intimal and uh, you think that you, it is not a true lumen, uh, you give them gap 6 to 8 weeks, you bring them, right. uh, it becomes much. Um, Could be a straightforward job after down. that. Yeah, then it becomes much easier. The yeah. thing is. That means that you are lot sub intimal, when wire get stuck into the area that means a lot of sub intimal, you want to go with the. Field, uh, uh, whisper? The, no, with your 200. Mm. You want to see a little die? Anti grid. Yeah. Mm, see the lot of us are given into money. This has created lot of. Uh, take a cine, okay? Then we decide which wire. The confianja is done. Let's take the confianja out. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let me try the whisper for one minute, and you get your two hundred. You have to start right from the beginning. Yep. Yeah. 
get the progress 200. I mean, this uh, kind of case, uh, if you have a data, because now uh, there is no issue with the subintimal tracking that you have gone further down. That if you get good with a string ray, uh, this will, will be the one of the use of the string ray uh, needle that get to you to the true lumen. So, one of the interesting uh, observation and statistics I have to pass you is that as our life mm. case gets more complicating, the number of viewers increases. That's a good thing. Yeah, I, it, so which kind same, of tells same, me same, that same, is same. exactly the purpose that people are able to relate. Look, this is what yeah, happens to us each day, and let's see the experts uh, handle the situation differently. All right, let's see. This is our whisper has gone the, some uh, into the same channel, likely. But the question is, did it make it to the tip? Uh, we are going to take one picture and see. Well, need to come back a little bit and try to redirect in the very apical portion. All subintimal. Yeah, definitely looks all subintimal. Yeah. Will die now. See, that's where we are subintimal. That no. This uh -huh. same place. Higher up. Okay, we'll die again. Go more. Get the progress to one. Whole. Getting the fine cross to the apex has created a channel there, right. which is um, all the wires are going through that channel. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. You want to no, take, we'll it take it out. Yeah. So you would. You see some dye staining. I think at that level we need to see if we can uh, get. Uh, no, see that. Okay. Let us try this wire, otherwise we will leave now, right? Yep. Which would we need to go? Leave, the, leave it, leave it here. or I go inside. More? Leave more, more. I don't want to get stuck in the side branch. Yeah, right there. Okay. Now, now we have the progress uh, 200 T.
see the dice staining. Don't move, don't move. Ah, on the same. Okay. But this is not the view which we have done. It doesn't matter. When you mentioning it, uh, you mean at the very apex? No, right here. And this is the progress 200 now? Mm -hmm. some die now. Hmm. It's looking in the, no? no? Now go to the cranial view. Let me re, re let me see if we can re-enter it. No, but that was not better. <laughs> Still sub internal there, some die, okay? Okay. Okay, now uh, here. Mm. Yeah, die. Why you pulled back? Because you felt it was sub intima? Mm -hmm. Let's take a picture here before you go further. Okay, some die. Send it. Then go to Cordle to see. I'm definitely looking better. Not sure. Do we go cordial? Yeah. Now that may be that we have gone subintimal and we have come back at the level and then have gone back again subintimal. Mm. Here definitely I think we are in the lumen now. Yes. Because we can see, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Apex and the apex you're going, you're going out, out again. That's the one we need to. Some die here now. You want to go Sine? Yeah. You want to take a Sine here? Mm. Large mag, one second, further mag. Oh, you may not be able to see. No, this fine. Uh, yeah, it's a seventy-mile there. Yeah. Question is that what level we became seventy-mile? What do you want to do? Try the, okay, some die here now. No. 
all subintimal. Yeah, I think we have created a long subintimal chain. Even higher up, yeah. Yeah. starting even higher so Now up. I would say leave everything there, pull back the fine cross and we go with a parallel whisper wire. Mm -hmm. And that's our best chance. If not, then uh, revisit in eight weeks. And of course, uh, till you have uh, taken care of the LED, Sometimes. no question of touching the diagonal. Right, exactly. Because, you know, clearly by some chance we can never succeed. Right. It will be okay to you get a um, surgical uh, option. Surgical still, option. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you don't want to. I think that's one of the teaching cases. Uh, uh, to fall into that temptation, look, I could not do the LED, but I was able to do the diagonal would yeah. be just yeah. counterproductive. But that's a disservice to the patient. Disservice to the patient. Huh? So, I mean, uh, another topic I wanted to discuss with you, uh, you know, in uh, yeah. you, you get a feedback from these uh, physicians all over the world about uh, the program and one of the themes uh, which, which I'm actually quite happy about and I think uh, which is one of the issues uh, uh, our webcast has uh, brought Some forth uh, uh, to the global attention has been the, the huge attention we devote to the appropriateness criteria. Absolutely, yes. You know, it's uh, something which uh, which I remember confronting with some difficulties in uh, in uh, one of the cases where Dr. King was with us. Uh, these were issues very difficult uh, two years ago, and uh, now it appears that uh, the whole uh, the rest of the world is struggling with exactly these issues. <laughs> Absolutely, that's a, well. Again, we being in the forefront, uh, try to educate everyone uh, that what's the right thing to do, and now um, all the live cases uh, require that part. But um, that's that's exactly where the, there is a slight disconnect that uh, there are some, some very, very thoughtful uh, key opinion leaders around the world who think that uh, we have gone overboard already. Well, I mean, uh, to me, one thing very simple for the appropriateness point I'll, of I'll view. I'll give you a perfect example. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In, in uh, some of the cath labs, we now have the SCAI modified uh, the patient's paperwork is about four pages and the paperwork you need to fill the appropriate criteria, criteria is 18 pages. <laughs> Some That's, line? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, let me just tell one thing for sure. The key is... Oh, oh. Yeah. No. Completely yeah. subintimal there. Yeah. 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 Probably... Right. Leave it, leave it right now. Yeah. Off the endomet. Right. Off NGMAC, yeah. Yes. And don't take any picture. So, yes, uh, no, I mean, the coming back to the point of appropriateness. Now, the key is that one of the important, I mean, of course, uh, nothing is um, perfect that case you will not be able to do or uh, that uh, will fall into any of the criteria. You want to roll it. The key, this is a whisper. The key point of the appropriateness use criteria is at least to give you the guide guidance that are you in the right direction or you're not in the right direction and that is the key well so that that's that's i think a part of the story i think the other other uh, equally important part of the story is the heart team yes and and in the complex cases you you do the heart team discussion and that discussion will lead to your subsequent uh, decision making where many times it's the patient who decide what to do and that is the key once you present the data in the complex in appropriateness use criteria, if a complex CAD, you calculate STS score, I mean syntax score, maybe STS in some cases, and then you present based on that data what is the right option to the patient, and then patient can make a decision. So what we'll do is, we'll just go through the, our uh, end of uh, the discussion on this particular case, and then we'll come back to what we should do with this particular patient. Uh, and so, uh, if we can just take that. In the take meantime, the patient is absolutely oh, clinically and hemodynamically yeah. stable. Patient, All the right. blood pressure is same, 120 over 80. And, uh, and we'll okay. review the options of bringing the patient right. back. Right, exactly. And uh, take out another picture to make sure everything is fine uh, in the end. So, therefore, I would, you know, uh, conclude based on my two uh, important points today. One was the recent multiple randomized clinical trials of minimum DAP duration have re revealed six month duration is sufficient after everlimus eluting DES and prolonged DAP 2.5 years plus reserved for patients with high atherothrombosis or stent thrombosis risk. Longer DAP duration is associated with higher significant bleeding and hence risk benefit of the prolonged DAP needs to be carefully considered. And of course, the second 
is the studies of biodegradable polymer DES have shown equal efficacy to the durable polymer DES with a signal of lower stent thrombosis rate especially late. Uh, hence newer DES designs will routinely incorporate biodegradable polymer as the drug vehicle. Now if you take uh, three questions following are the trials of 6 versus 12 or 24 months of the DAP duration post DES except the security trial, the DAP study, the ISAR safe, italics trial and prodigy which we have spoken. Second, following the true statement from the DAP study except that everything is true except one is false that MACI rates were similar in 30 months versus 12 months DAP, stent thrombosis rate were lower in 30 months DAP compared to 12, significant bleeding was higher in 30 months DAP versus 12 and stroke incidence was not different in 30 months versus 12 months DAP and there was no difference in cardiac mortality between two groups. Last question is following are the trials of biodegradable polymer DES except the bioflow, bioscience evolved to absorb 3 and century 2. So with that note I think uh, uh, you want to take a little picture on this particular case just to make sure uh, that things are all right. Uh, patient is hemodynamically fine. I think this is the type of case where you need to abort, do not be a hero uh, and uh, bring the patient back uh, about 6, 8 weeks knowing that he is not symptomatic, he is ischemic but not symptomatic. We are going to put him on beta blocker, he did not tolerate earlier and so and so forth. So we will just take a picture and it is about the same and bring back and many times then it becomes a simpler channel. Uh, by the time patient comes back for follow up. Yeah. You may have uh, just uh, stated I think the best uh, teaching part of this case, uh, do not be a hero, uh, do not bring your ego ahead here, uh, there is always a time to, to stop, maybe bring the patient back as you said. Yes. All right. With Anu, that note, we'll Anu uh, a little discussion with you, what would you, would you have done anything different, uh, would you have a different strategy? Uh, uh, here at this time, uh, if we have to continue maybe another, uh, you know, 5, 10 minutes, uh, try to recross right from the beginning again, the question is what is the wire? Means one thing that we could have done is just leave the wire there and uh, go with the fielder. Uh, definitely I would prefer fielder, not a fielder XT or whisper. You know, it is all the what wire that you are comfortable with. As no matter uh, which uh, operator, everybody has their favorite wire, their favorite devices. So, you know, certain wire it just says that the wire listens to your finger. Um, so, I would have gone back with the fielder to see if that, you know, I think what happened is that when we thought that we are uh, there in the distal, uh, in the apical LED which uh, here just at the level of the diagonal which is almost close to the apex, um, when we were there with the wire and we got the fine cross down and this is exactly what happens I think, uh, you know, for the re-entry. Uh, subintimal uh, tracking and re-entry that our fine cross did exactly the same thing. Fine cross went and created a big subintimal channel and now getting any, any wire uh, even we try to get into uh, all different wires we just keep going through that uh, subintimal uh, channel, channel tra tra where the fine cross uh, tracked. Um, and you know further that after that we created some more dissection in the so apex. Be before the case I remember walking to you in the cath lab and you were not terribly confident. Uh, was it the calcification which bothered you the most? Yeah. All right. I, I do have this uh, so called the sixth sense yeah, where exactly. I know I, I, I would be successful or no. This is I, one of those cases. In fact uh, even when Dr. Sharma asked me this morning I was uh, not, did not feel that. Right. that right. We well I mean uh, that, that is true. But at the same time, if you try to show just the simple cases, that is not the purpose of our this, uh, um, our, uh, you know, complex teaching. That is okay. When unsuccessful and remember we do have two unsuccessful cases in the past, but both of them then later on became right. successful. I we actually had a one perforation of the LED if you recall and then we did a live in the June symposium and we showed to our audience later on uh, that case were done successfully. Look. But I think the uh, important point here uh, knowing uh, what you have to do is when do you want to stop. Right. Um, what I say right now what we have created is artery in pieces. AIP. Um, yeah. It's okay. a, we have created an artery in piece but that does not mean the entire LED will heal now. Right. Uh, what we did not do or what was wrong thing to do was probably go and dilate that. If you have dilated then we have created a bigger subintimal tract 
more hematoma and then getting into the true lumen. All we did was we tracked the fine cross and uh, whatever dissection that we have created will heal and uh, most often when they come back you will see some kind of a channel which is easier to cross just uh, with the uh, most often uh, only with the fielder would uh, in be, that cases. Would be fascinating to get a follow up on this case. Uh, uh, anu and Samin, uh, congratulations for putting together an exceptional year of uh, education for our global audience. Uh, my, my sincere uh, compliments to your cardiac cath lab and the fellows uh, who are uh, often the unsung heroes and I can see them behind you. Of course, <laughs> yes, absolutely. And uh, good, good, good wishes and uh, happy holidays again uh, to our viewers. Uh, we will see you in session 67 in the new year on January the 20th.